Ушли и морда. Time athletes. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh man, head kick land. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. So there's the only takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Lands with the ground and pound. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. And he knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. There's a song there, right? No when to hold him. No when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. I mean, how many can he take? Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. And they both stand up. Single collar tie here. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Right hand punch from the clinch. And they separate. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. And they separate. Right hook to the head block. Well, plenty of time here to go in round one. He has really gotten off to a good start tonight. He and his corner prioritized an aggressive all-offense start to this one, and that is exactly the way it's played out. Nice punch by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Back to the jab now, no good. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Nice. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. A little single oh, leg tie there. on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. He loaded up the tight end, too. Ooh, big shot land. Sauce reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Misses with that punch. Nice one-two combination there. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. And there comes the separation now. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big head kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. <laughs> oh, 
He's got to whip his hip into that kick. And that one certainly found the target. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Round two is next. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Liver kick. Got the single collar tie. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. He tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Big body kick. Just over three minutes to go. Punch over the top. And they separate. Head kick. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Single collar tie now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Good stick. What a head kick. Oh, nice. Beautiful collar tie. He's got him in the clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And he landed the right hand there. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Going orthodox now. Trying to kick the leg out. Beautiful strike. Lee gets in the clinch yet again. Pretty good right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Straight. Nice job there by Lee. Just unable to quite find that range. One minute left. Let's go. I need everything you got here now. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there.
Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And they separate. Oh. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, nice high kick. Final seconds here of round two. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. What does he do now that he's back in the clutch? Right now, we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. this championship fight. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice punch lands over the top. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Oh, these are some impactful knees he's throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing. He's gonna keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. All right, single collar tie now. Straight punch lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork. And again, we're a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? And they separate. Straight to the body there by Lee. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Just over three minutes to go now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Real quick leg kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Switching stances here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch from the clinch. What a punch. Time his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee's elbow attempt here. That one blocked by the defense. Just missed with the left there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, 
Nice. Oh, good kicks there. Oh, single collar tie here. Left hand punch to the clinch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. These guys are going at it. Big kick lands. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice punch there. Boy, Ty Plum. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, but he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested. Right, dig deep, deep and on the mark and see who has the number. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. His misses are entertaining. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, he eats a knee. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Again, you know, we're a broken record when it comes to this reach advantage, but he lands another punch there. Nice head kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Huge, he lands the tie clinch. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, collar tie. Oh, big head kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Way to hide that leg kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Right hand punch to the clinch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He's driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent. Left punch is true, now the right hand. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Good punch. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go. Big kick land. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Got the single collar tie. Good dirty boxing. Lee's elbow is blocked. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Back and forth we go. That's a big strike right there. Single collar tie now. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with this strike. Why right, so the fighters in the clinch again, DC? I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Big power shot there. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. 
Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. He's starting to really bruise now. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Liver kick. Straight punch lands. Nice sneaky head kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Do not back up. Well, missed on that one. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, nice straight left. Well placed kick there by Lee. Head kick attempt, gets blocked. Beautiful body kick. All right, single collar tie now. In the clinch. Big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. He lands flush with that right hand. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Nice leg kick. Final seconds of round four. Right hand punch to clinch. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Stop, stop, stop. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat to get taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Battle for position here. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job. He's active, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, single collar tie here. fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. All right, close guard now. Guillotine attempt now. Looks as though he's got the neck. He's attacking Guillotine. He should be defending right now. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Again, side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Open St. Prue has got to like that transition there. Wow. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hip and get back to your feet. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nice. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moves right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Nice kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like a basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice combination of elbows there by Lee. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Beautiful punch. Under one minute remains in round five. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Lands with the right hand. Elbow lands for him. That was a thudding leg kick. Big head kick land. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Right on the button. And just misses with that big right hand. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so there it is, the final horn, a lifetime of work, all building to this moment, and the underdog challenger comes up large with his striking game tonight. He's gonna be the new champ. I mean, he came up big in a massive spot. He was the underdog. He wasn't supposed to get this done. He relied on what got him here, the striking, to take the title from the long-reigning champion. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Played the winner by unanimous decision. And new! Here we have a new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And what an effort from the number one contender and challenger here tonight to outlast the champion over 25 hard minutes. And now the focus shifts to this.